Guys, we got fire extinguishers ready to go. Shani, grab yours before fire gets here. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to move you up there, up the top here. So if you, you can watch all you want and stuff like that. I just wanna keep our scene out. Thank you guys. Guys, we got a lot of fuel. Okay. Trooper, you're ready to go. If we get anything ignites, you're ready to go. Okay. I think we're right there. We're good this second. And just keep in mind, guys, there's a lot of like, leaking fuel. Let's get this car, get this car moved. Shane, you ready to go if we have a fire? Okay. Hey guys. Yeah. Medics think that we also have a lot of leaking fuel and it's going to stink really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I need a, okay, I need an air. We're going to need help with the airway on this guy too. Good, good. We got it. Okay, sir, hang in there. We need an airway. Keep fighting, sir. Keep fighting. I'll get it closed off. Okay. Yes, sir, I'm at Keep fighting, sir. I, I know. I, I would, not the medic, sir. I don't want you to stand back and give him part of your room, okay? Uh, I pack. Do we have freaking medics yet or not? Yeah, we're about to have them. Sir, keep it in. Okay, got, I got medic, got medic shit coming up right now. Let's make sure we get AMR in here right now. Yep. And L2 there, we need AMR to pull straight in right away, please, for a transport. So we're, we're pretty sure one occupant? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, I'm going to have you move up the stairs away from the fuel to steer safety, guys. Uh, and they'll choose right as far as possible. Marking numbers, Charles Dash, George Victor, Zebra Williams. We're going to set it at the curve, just uh, coming in from the north at Erie and Trent, go to the curve uh, by Brown Buildings Material, have barricades stand by at uh, Erie and Trent to be placed. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I want these uh, folks a little further back okay. and just a little more crowd control okay. in our scene. Right. I know if we have any sort of contact with Belt Field, just make them aware of the situation, and, and if we have a manifest, just we're just trying to make doubly sure there's only one occupant. Okay. 
Hey, hey guys, we're gonna push you up to the top of the hill. Okay, all right, thank you, sir, for stopping. I brought Curtis over, he's the EM2. Okay, yes, no, thank you so much. We're just gonna lock down our scene. Okay. Okay, you, hey boss, you doing anything? Stay on the road up there, uh, no civilian vehicles, only ambulance and EMS. Clear route the AMR. Can we clear yeah. that way? Uh, I'm going to make sure. Okay, excuse me. KMR advise which way they're coming in. And go and take a tier one, please. Sorry, coming in from where? No, no that, that, that'll work. He's come, come down north, southbound on Erie from Trenton. They'll come straight to us. LT! Can you move your... Can you, can you move this car over for me, please? Thanks a lot. So I'm gonna my ambulance pull right under here so they can load them up and we'll get them out. Okay. Okay. Right here. He's right there. We can probably get you guys out straight too. Yeah, I'll choose the right, go ahead. Okay, and if we have, yeah, we have a lot of leaking fuel here, fires on scene containing that. If you have a contact number for FAA, please advise them of the incident. They are. Bill Bill's been contacted with the Canadian plane. Apparently he just took off and felt still, and then he radioed that his engine died. Okay. So they thought, I've already got them doing that. Cool. But biggest thing is to get him out of here. Yeah, the and him now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember from the freaking policies. Who's who is overall on plane crashes as far as steam control? Is that fi is it a fire? Obviously, FAA eventually FAA, when they take it over. And but we're going to have fire, and right now they'll have the traffic safety will be the primary investigators on it. National Traffic Safety Institute. Yeah, the, the, the NTSB. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be the primary on that. I'm sure. Okay, we'll get hold of them. So we obviously, you're noticing the DSL command page on right. right. Go ahead, ambulance is on scene. Bell just confirming one option. Okay, good. Copy, thank you very much. Clarence, you copy it. Spelt is confirming one occupant. Thank you. I'm going to see if we can have uh, Monique or somebody come out to you. Do you have Yep, yep. He called witnesses. We had the one guy down here that helped pull him out. He said he saw the whole thing. Yep. 
for fire up and help. This is a Canadian aircraft. He's probably not a local address guy. Okay. What can I do to help? Let's, uh, I want, I'll try to send the ambulance out this way. Why don't you uh, help them out with your vehicle and if they need to start stopping intersection, get them to the hospital. Yeah, where's the ambulance at? Okay. It's, it's right there. I don't know. Where are you parked? Behind everybody. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel, maybe I'll be pulling right behind him and I'll you hop out front, okay. kind of running your fans. I'm sorry, yeah, okay. Alberta ID we have, so. There's an ID. Thanks, boss. Okay. NL two zero. We're code four with the officers on scene. Hey, guys. Hey, my big concern is with all the fuel. If we can avoid having civilians running through this area, you're, you're, go, you're just going through. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Good luck with everything. Yep. He's over there. Sure back. SPD guys, once we get him out of here, we're going to back away from this with the fuel and everything like that. I've got Lester following to help get uh, traffic control and run interference. Make sure he gets out to its south. Yeah, you can head there too. It's up to you and I'll explain those guys about they would I don't know if it'd be easier for the pole right up here past you I want to try to take them out instead of trying to back up out to these vehicles. Uh, I don't want to roll them through that. Might be a little bit on the other side. I have been pulled through here. You okay with the hose? Yeah, that, that's fine. I think that's going to work short for time getting him to the hospital. Yep. Can we pull off hold? It'll take two seconds. Get that, I got police cars. I'm moving yeah. your hose. Well, sir, uh, I think we might. We should just shoot through. Okay, shoot through. Shoot through straight. To the south. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Amr, the way out. AMR, AMR, I got. Who's your driver? We got police, two police cars on a uh, stop intersection so we can do it faster. They're going to be e back in here with AMR shortly. Got two, um, two large units in my direction. will be going with the ambulance to get them there quicker. He wants to. Uh, 
Our chief doesn't want us going through the hot zone, so it's FAA, so we're going to need to back out. Okay? They're going to be backing up and turn around. Is there anywhere, is there more cake that you want? I mean, there's a whole area. Call radio, get that, they, uh, that agency, talk about next to kin notification. Okay. Well, I think he's done, I mean, just a family better to get down here. Okay. That's a, to the hospital. Any more cake anywhere? What's that? I, I haven't any more cake anywhere. Okay, we're good for the moment. We're, I guess there are cakes in the Here's his wallet. Just, just to get family members aware of what, something's happening. No, I think we're good here in just a second. What's that? Uh, let me let me just evaluate. I'm gonna get him out of here and back out and turn around. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna back him into there. I'm backing him into there. Come on, start, 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 start. Guys, we got leaking gas and fumes back. It's now it's going to be a fire operation for detaining until whatever protocols get as far as FAA, NTSB, and all right. that. We're going to set up our CP just down the road here and at, he, the, uh, at the curb. They, they what, survived. Yes, he's still bleeding and everything like that. And, uh, and uh, they're, they got an airway on him, and they're, they're picking up the sacred heart at this point. Okay. So I'm going to back my personnel up to a CP. We're going to kind of keep making a fire seat to get the fumes and the gasoline sure. and everything like that. All right. I'll, I'll be right back with you, sir. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I don't know if you're on your way out, if you can swing around. If, if you could just check up there if that's causing a backup okay. for us and maybe shoot people walking if it is. If All it, right. and then, yeah, I'll run up and take a look. Thank you so much, sir. Let's pull all SPD people. CP is going to be at the curb there by Brown. Okay. And uh, maybe we'll assign somebody up here to keep people from coming down. Okay. I think it's public safety with the uh, the fuel yeah. leaking. Yeah. And this is a fire mission until they get relieved by Fed. Are the trains stopped? Big trains are okay. stopped. Um, I have a reserve standing by himself on the south end of this perimeter. Right. And it's just me and I got barricades so. and route. Okay. We'll arrange for that. All right. So let's, let's, let's I, try I, to get a car around there for him. Yeah. We just have no reason to be in here. No. And, and risk. Who's investigating this? Ultimately, it's the Fed, the NTSB okay. or FA or something like that that's going to handle that. It's not our baby. So we don't do We're a sector on it. Oh, I'm sorry. A sector. We don't do a, a crash report on this. No. I've seen the airplane. No. Icon on I, that, I do so. not believe so at all. That's not. It's, right. not, it's not our area. This is an assist agency then. First time in my career, so what? No if, right? if, if it changes, yeah. uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> all right. So I see a piece of um, aircraft there and up there. Yeah. So we should probably move it. Okay, well, do we have, like, debris up, up top? Yeah, a little tiny bit. Like a point of impact, though, we have up on the, on the track? Yeah, it looks like it hit right up on top. There's, like, a door okay. right on top of the railroad tracks. Okay. It looks like it hit. My, my, so I'll make arrangements to get somebody up there and relieve you. At this point, I just want to get the hell away with this plane and with yeah. all the fuel There's and everything. There's a northern guy up there right now. And they've stopped their trains. They've stopped their trains. 
I'll, 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 I'll take north and I'll send barricades to you when I'm done. It looks like actually looks like barricades are here. And I'll get our perimeter expanded up to there. Yep. And I want to nicely ask this gentleman to move up top for us. Stephanie was getting names. You know, it's... it's yep. We've got all, all the right. names. We're all the right. guys there. Right. Good job, guys. So at this point, we're just pulling back to the plane with all the fumes and everything okay. like that. So if you, if you want to get to your vehicle, and if I need something from me, I'll let you know here in just a minute. Okay. Thank you so much for your, thank you so much for your help. Not, I thought those people were just... Getting too I close. No, I, they were, but they were like where they were like stuck okay. in that spot. Are you are you the IC for fire? Uh, initially, but I think right now is okay. Uh, so, you know, we're pulling all our personnel back away from the fuel and everything like okay. that, and we'll, we'll keep traffic out. We'll keep pedestrians out. If you need anything, I'll see he's going to be right at the curve down here. Okay. Okay. No, I think we're good. I was going to pull our people back. You know, the witness is not that critical. He voted, hey, my motor quit in my plane. Oh, he did. Okay, I didn't it's, know that. It's not it's a crime scene or anything like that. He it's, it's an accident. Mr. Schreier, I don't think I'm going to need you here for right now. Okay, I'll keep going. Um, well, I've got, got that tape hooked in my car. What, uh, what time is it, ladies? It's 2 o'clock. Why don't you guys catch up on paper? I, just want to, I don't want any, anybody going fast through this tunnel. No, first time in 23 years for me. <laughs> you know, probably the best place it could have happened as opposed to into a building or oh, something yeah, like that. Yeah. And, yep. <laughs> okay. And to the and just a hair to, uh, east. east. It's a dirt. Hair. It's a dirt road that curves. Uh, dirt road. It's called I've got a witness that the first, was one of the first responding I, I, witnesses. He went up to UGM to wipe, get all the blood off of him. Okay. I've got all his information before. I've got it all before he okay. left, and then I set up this containment area so I okay. keep people out. All right. Is the media staging over here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Not yet, but I'm going to go try to find him. Fire's planting their flag. Fire the fuck out of steam. Are you my fire I see? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't know what's convenient for you. I was going to probably have my lieutenant just move me a little back here to the curve and. Yeah. I haven't had one of these before, have you? As far as I, I don't think about who we, eventually NTSB, FA, they're going to be the lead agencies. But as far as overall head of the scene, and we're kind of doing a dual thing. You guys got the fire containment with the fuel. We're doing perimeter and everything else like that, kind of our unified command. Anything you guys are needing from us? No, that's pretty much it. Because in my experience, I've not done anything here, but I've been in helicopter task in the Northwest Age. We just don't want you to touch anything on the aircraft or anything that could be associated with the right. aircraft. So, uh, okay. And, and you guys are walking around, I don't know what they're examining for, so they got the hose ready to go. 
they're getting yeah, detailed numbers. There also there's a little bit of whiskey and smoke here. They're trying to make sure that that is. Really gotcha. Good. Okay. So this is Fire's IC. Uh, I'm sorry, Bobby. Steve Stable. Steve Stable, okay. Hi, Steve. I'm Larry Crowder. I'm the oh, Airport yeah. CEO. Hi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I've got one guy coming from Ops. Uh, looks like actually he just arrived here. Um, uh, is there anything you need us to do? Uh, we've made the notification, I think, to FISDO, the flight standards people, and NTSB. So the only thing we're going to do is probably uh, try to find out where he might have fueled, just in case it's a fuel prop related problem, and, and uh, sequester that and pull some samples. So that's pretty much our protocol. Uh, Burlington Northern has shut down this line over the viaduct until, uh, until we hear otherwise or tell them otherwise. Yeah, well, we, we, here's the thing. We got, we have a uh, up top was we or we have a point of impact, and we got a, we, we, we got a we got a, we got a door and some other debris up top. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those the FISDO will probably want to get at least some pictures of that before they release it. But they're pretty cool about trying to not get things going. Hey, howdy. this is Joe. Talk, I guess, is the big question. Who's, who's the appropriate person to talk to the media? It's in your jurisdiction, so we're just in support. I mean, I think it really is an SFP thing. And I've always been sensitive with that with Bobby. <laughs> I, you know, it's fine. We're, we're having them stage up our brown building's material and stay out of our way. Yeah. We don't really know whether the aircraft is actually based at Belfield. It looks like it's got a Canadian. It's got. Uh, He's got an Alberta driver's license. Yeah, Canadian registration. So, so uh, we, it probably wasn't an aircraft that was based at, at the airport. And this, and this, this you know, if they had a felt. We we had a, an address, so we're reaching out to law enforcement in Alberta. It's probably trying to get him, have family not member notified that he's up at the hospital and. I believe he came in the Pelican Third Country. Okay, so and, uh, it's just an itinerant. I think there, so any okay. information. And this, is the cur yeah. and this is the courtesy. I'm using my body camera, guys. Just, just, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we actually have our, our police officers use them as well. So oh, good, good. Yeah. Hey, Kenny. We took some initial ones, but yeah, well, uh, some initial ones. But he wants to know if we ha looks like our impact is pretty much where. Well, well, no, we had actually he hit up top up on the viaduct. Oh, okay. we, have, we have some debris up top oh, before okay. he came down here, okay. and I got somebody standing by with that. Yeah. Apparently, we have where he did hit up above and then came down below. Two eight. He's on the phone. Go ahead for him, please. Yeah, it, it, I don't want him going any further south than the start of that curve. Okay, yeah, I'm keeping him back away. Me, you get a stage in that parking lot? Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully on the other side. Okay. I don't know. That's why I roped all is, that off. I figured. Is there a, is there a front side of that? Oh uh, no, I just figured that due to the size of that parking I, lot, I was. It's totally me. I was just okay. thinking outside the box, and I knew you were busy, so yeah. Do you guys need access up here? Well, our biggest thing is we we got debris up there right. that as far as the trains, you know, kind of holding up until we 
get that document and then and, and somebody clears that with the feds, you know, whoever's investigating okay. this. And by all, I'm Pete Seymour, the railroad. I, I'm Jason Hartman. Thank you for your help. Yeah, no problem. I'm here to help you guys out with anything you need. Can you, are you guys have the band power to keep people off the track? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm sorry? Area is all contained and taped off for that, them. Yeah, the 